what's up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is kyla Trees. i'm back with another video in today's video i got a new hairstyle i got my hair braided um with slay hair it's really really cute i really really like it if you live in la um and you need a beauty supply store to go to glow and flow beauty supply they're gonna get you right every time so the person that actually did my hair i have her information right here if you want me to comment it down below i will um but she is located at glow and flow beauty supply store literally my favorite black owned beauty supply store i really really like it um her name is passionate hands okay she's there from 11 to 6 every monday tuesday and wednesday um, and I'll give her the information. I'll give her, I mean, I will give y'all her information so y'all can hit her up and contact her. Um, and yeah, it says come pre-washed and blow-dried Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Schedule an appointment and her number is on here as well. Um, but she does a beautiful job. As you can see, her work speaks for itself. My edges did look good when she did them but obviously i went to sleep and everything like that so um yeah i love my hair it's really really cute and yeah but anyway today is gonna be a get ready with me and i'm just gonna tell y'all how everything went because i did not vlog i know i said i was but i didn't y'all should know me by now I don't know, man. I just, I can't get with the vlogs. Maybe one day, but not today. Alright, I am wearing a shirt. Alright, cool. But, um, so at the store, at the Glow Flow, at the beauty supply store, they have Glow Flow Saturdays. It's where you can go and just be a beautiful black woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can just go and literally just be. You can shop in there. Um... And I really, really love their store. I love promoting their store. I love working with them. Everybody is just so nice. And you know how... You know how some women give off like that mean girl energy? Nobody has that there. If they do have it, they don't display it. Um, but I don't know. It's just a beautiful place. The beauty supply store has just oh, always been a beautiful place to me. And the fact that it's a black-owned beauty supply store ran by black women, the influencers are black women, the um, everybody that works there is black. Like, it's just a time, and I love it so much in there. Um, but so they have Glow and Flow Saturdays. It's the first Saturday of every month. I believe she told me in November she wasn't doing it. Um, but... I believe December they're going to do it. So it's the first Saturday of every month. All right. And they have Glow Flow Saturdays. You just go in there. Um, if you buy, they apply. So like if you buy a wig, they'll apply it there. If you buy lashes, they'll apply the lashes. If you buy lip gloss, well, not lip gloss. But if you buy um, press on nails, they'll apply the press on nails for you. Um, and yeah, it's just a beautiful place. I really, really love it. I've been there since before they remodeled and the remodel is bomb. I'm going to try to do these edges. Um, I love how they rebranded and remodeled in there. It's really, really pretty in there and it's just a fun time. So... If you are looking for a black owned beauty supply store, like I said, and you live in LA, check out Glow and Flow Beauty Supply. I don't think you will be disappointed. Like, no, for real. And you can also say, like, oh, I'm a subscriber of Kyla's. And they'll, they'll know who you talking about. They'll be like, oh, yeah. But no, for real, like, they're all just so wonderful in there. Um, 
so they had their event it was a breast cancer awareness event well okay so every time it's glow and flow saturday they have a vendor in there and that vendor is either selling their products or they're talking about some important shit let's just say that so i remember last glow and flow there was a girl in there she was selling her hair products promoting her hair products um honey love organics right and i bought her stuff and when i tell you her stuff is bomb bro i will never i will never not promote honey love organics her stuff is really really bomb i love her oil as well as her uh conditioner and i was putting people on in the store i was like hey you looking for i was like hey you looking for a good conditioner you looking for a good oil honey love organics and he's like oh can i smell it yeah you can smell it they smelled it they was like okay i'm so i'm so girl i'm so serious i'm, I'm not even playing like but yeah um so that was last month this month they were talking about breast cancer awareness because it's October, right? And they were saying how like it's important. There was a vendor in there and she was just saying how it's so important to get your mammograms cuz you can get cancer at any age, bro. Like it doesn't matter. You can get cancer, especially breast cancer at any age. Um and they don't care about black women. You know, she was telling us she was giving us the real. She was like um she's a breast cancer survivor. And she was telling us the real, she was like, um, look up your history, you need to be, oh shit. Basically, she was telling us how you need to be on your Zoom, getting your mammograms and shit, because nobody they don't care when it comes to black women they'll be like oh yeah you're fine don't worry about this symptom you always get a second opinion um yeah because they really don't care about us when it comes to our health and they think for some reason that we can just endure pain and all this other stupid ass shit um so yeah make sure you're taking your health seriously Um, one of the breast cancer survivors was also talking about, about to us about exercise, how exercise is very, very, very important. And that's why I started, that's why I started, um, roller skating in the first place. Cause my mom, she was always like, you need three hobbies a hobby that's gonna keep you smart which is reading i love to read a hobby that's gonna keep you in shape roller skating and a hobby that's going to um make you money youtube i'm set <laughs> i'm set and i love to roller skate it gets me out of the house and it makes me exercise it keeps me fit um and when i tell you i feel really really good i feel really really good i feel good about my body i feel good health wise um because breast cancer runs deep in my family my great grandmother had breast cancer. Cancer just runs deep in my family. My great grandmother had cancer. She died when she was in her 90s. She had it twice. Um, my 
other grandmother that I'm not close to, she had breast cancer. She died last year. Um, My dad, y'all know I don't fuck with him. He even had cancer. I think he had stomach cancer. I'm not really sure. Um, But yeah, he even had cancer. So I'm like, all right. I need to... I need to um change what the fuck I'm doing. Because, yeah, you get cancer at any age. And my dad is like, what, 60? He in his 60s or some shit like that. So, I don't know how old that man is. I know he in his 60s. Anyway, the point is, make sure you're getting tested. Make sure you're getting your mammograms. Make sure you're getting tested for HIV. Just don't play about your health. You feel what I'm saying? Um, When it comes to my health, I take that shit very, very seriously. And I do not fucking play. And I wanted to tell y'all, especially do not play when it comes to these... When it comes to other people. Like, when it comes to these men, if they can't get tested and show you the paperwork that they actually got tested show you the negative results you don't need to be fucking around because anybody could be like oh yeah i ain't got nothing like no for real this is a genuine conversation that we need to have because nobody's fucking having it for real um so if nobody's gonna have it i'm gonna give you the real these men will say anything just to get in your pants you feel what i'm saying you feel what i'm saying so if you allow you're going to get what you allow. So if a man is saying, oh yeah, I ain't got nothing, and y'all do it, turns out he got something. Now who you got to blame? Him, yes, but you as well, because why would you go in that knowing you didn't get tested? You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you're getting tested across the board for everything. Um... If he cannot get tested before y'all do it, is it really worth it? It's not. It's not. Make sure you're getting your mammograms. Make sure you are getting... Make sure you're doing everything that you know you need to be doing. You feel what I'm saying? One night stands are out. It really is. Baby, I need to see paperwork. I need to see what the fuck going on. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said, anybody can be like, oh, I don't have anything. <laughs> you think I'm a dummy? Like what? You really think I'm a dummy? Like what? Come on now. Come on now. And then two men... They don't feel it, right, when they get something. So they'll be like, oh, yeah, I don't have anything. And they really do. They just don't feel it. But the second, the second a woman pees, <laughs> she, gonna, she gonna feel that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. And if you are going to have a one-night stand, wear a condom. Wear protection. Because I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. These men are going to manipulate you into being like, oh, yeah, well, we don't really need to use a condom. We don't need. They're going to say things like this, right? They're going to be like, oh, well, you know, condoms, I don't feel it. You're not going to feel it through a condom. Or they're going to be like, um, uh, I hate using condoms. And all this other dumb ass shit. But when you get pregnant, see, they're going to be coming a different song. Oh, you need to get an abortion. We don't know each other like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. 
this is a serious talk that we, that needs to be had. I don't like this brow. Shit, I don't know why, how, why I still use it. But no, for real, for real, for real. They be singing a completely different tune when you end up pregnant. And men will do that. Oh, I'll pull out. Motherfucker, listen. <laughs> you could file for it if you want to. You could genuinely file for it if you want to. But listen. If you do not want kids right now. use protection and if he can't use protection you shouldn't be messing with him because i'm gonna tell you this a lot of dudes will do this tactic they'll get you comfortable start kissing on you and rubbing on you right and then they'll make you aroused right and then they'll be like i don't I don't have a condom but you won't care because you'll be like i don't care i just want it right now you know what i'm saying that's their tactic that's their tactic oh i don't really have one are you sure and then they'll be like are you sure are you sure are you sure and you'll say yes because you're aroused right i don't care i don't care i don't care and then when you get in your right mind You'll be like, wait a minute, we didn't use a condom. And he was like, well, he'll be like, well, you consented, number one. And number two, um, you knew I didn't have condoms. So why did you consent? That's how they get your ass. Look, don't shoot the messenger, right? And this is what your parents ain't teaching you. You understand what I'm saying? All right, I'm trying to put y'all on game. Because this shit does happen. Okay, I'm trying to tell you now. I'm trying to tell you now. I don't care what no elder is saying. These, these motherfuckers do this shit for real. Okay. I'm going to tell you what your mama not. So, like I said, make sure you're getting tested. Make sure you are um, getting your mammograms. Make sure you're getting your pap smears. Make sure you and that man get tested. If he cannot show you the results of said test, you should not be doing anything with that man. Like I said, I understand people may want to do one night stands out there. I don't judge. I don't care. As long as you are being cautious. That's all I care about. As long as you are protecting yourself. That's all I care about. Because at the end of the day, if I don't say nothing, who will? Who gonna tell you if I don't? Okay? Especially if you have ancient ass family members. They're not going to tell you this shit. It's like they're not going to put you on game. And then when you come home pregnant, they'll be like, oh, that's on you. 
why didn't you give her game? Why didn't you give her the run through? Why didn't you talk her on how these dudes be be doing shit for real? You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't let her know nothing? Because you didn't give a fuck. Exactly. You should have been telling her, hey, a man gonna do this. A man gonna do that. A man gonna say this. You know what I'm saying? I would be telling my nieces the same thing. But they have a um weird ass mother, so and when they get grown, we gonna have that talk. You know what I'm saying? When they get grown, we're gonna talk about how their mama is not a good woman. We're gonna we're gonna have that conversation. If they come to me and ask me, hey, why why was this like this? Or when I, when I was a kid? Or why did y'all? Why did my mom keep us away and all this other stuff? We're gonna have those conversations when they get grown, and I'm gonna spill it all. Cause you see, when when you get older, that shit comes to life. I had no idea somebody that I was so close to who watched me was a crackhead. Not a crackhead, but um, addicted to drugs. I had no idea. And this person was watching me. This person was babysitting me and my brother. And she was addicted to pills. And we had no idea. But I was a child, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> so, very sad. This person told me, they said, you have never seen her in her right mind. Which is why people were talking about this person so bad. It all makes sense. Shit makes sense when you get grown. I swear it do. I promise you it do. Shit makes sense when you get grown. Right? So. If if whoever comes to me and be like, hey. If one of my nieces or nephews comes to me and is like, hey. Why was shit this way? Or why, why were you not around? What, um, what led up to this? Or how was this that? Sit down, let me talk to you about it. Let me talk to you about something. Let me talk to you, let me tell you something. Because they're not going to be under their parents forever. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be under their parents forever. So we're going to have that conversation. This video is going all over the place. I don't really mind though. Do y'all mind? Can I talk to you for a sec? Hold on. Turn the fan on number one getting a little hot and I had to get my q-tips with my water but yeah no i'm so serious shit starts me when you um when you're a kid bro you think Everybody is a good person. Right? Your innocence just makes you think that. Right? But when you get grown and you know people can actually start talking to you about some things because you're older now and you're gonna understand. That shit just opens your eyes, bro. 
it's like wow so this is why she was like that or you know I never knew that and it could be about your own parents Because when you're a child, you think your parents are just superheroes, right? When you're a parent, you think... I mean, when you're a child, you think like, dang, like... My aunties, my uncles, my mom, my granny, they're all superheroes. Nobody would ever steer me in the wrong direction. It never really occurs to you that the people in your family could be are the villains you know what i'm saying it never occurs to you that the people in your family are genuinely trying to hurt you for real and they genuinely do not want the best for you it never occurs to you and i never understood why um some people stayed away but i do now but that's because I'm grown. I can have those conversations now. Because I'm not a kid no more. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure my nieces and nephews are like, oh, you know, Auntie Kyla stays away. She doesn't fuck with us or something like that. And it's like, no, that's not that, baby. I promise you that. It's not that at all. We're going to have our time. When you get older. And I'm going to tell you about some things. Because you'll be able to understand it. I feel like that's the only thing that sucks, right? About not being close with your siblings. Or like um, the person that your siblings decided to have children with. That's the thing that's like really like damn. You know what I'm saying? It's like wow. I have nieces and nephews that I can't even talk to. Because their mom is just weird. You know what I'm saying? I'm missing out on their life because the woman my brother chose to have kids with is just a weirdo. I'm sorry, y'all. This video is all over the place. We was talking about getting tested to fucking... But like I said, I'm a G, I'm gonna stick it out. I'm a G, I'm gonna stick it out. And I'm going to one day have a good old sit down conversation. Because you can't keep people away forever. If somebody wants to connect, with me when they get grown they're going to that's what people forget that's what people forget because see kids and if you are a parent and you're doing this i want to talk to you as well Kids don't forget how you treated them. You know what I'm saying? I love my nieces and nephews to the death of me.
they are not going to forget how Auntie Kyla treated them. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to reach out to me. Right? No matter how much you try to keep somebody away from somebody, that's fine. You could do that, right? But baby, they get grown. They get grown, love. You could try to say whatever narrative and run with it, right? But they gonna ask. The other party for their side of the story. They are. They're gonna ask that other party for that side of the story, right? And then especially when kids get older, they can see through your bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Especially if you're lying to them or not being truthful. You see? I see through a lot of my family's bullshit. When I got grown, when when they talk, I just be like, you full of shit. You can tell who's full of shit when you get grown, see? I just look at, you full of shit. You full of shit, too. Whole bunch of motherfuckers just full of shit. You a real one, though. But y'all three full of shit. It happens. I keep telling we get real. We get real. We get real over here. I'm telling you, you can see who's full of shit. But anyway. I'm done with my little spill on things um I don't know make sure you're getting your mammograms make sure you are getting tested make sure you're making your partners get tested um if you have some family members who are trying to keep you away from someone and you are like a teenager you will have your time when you get grown to reconnect with that other person and they will tell you some real shit or hopefully you're grown enough to see through the bullshit mm-hmm Cause like I said, man, when we're grown, when we're kids, we think everybody in our family is just superheroes, especially our moms, right? But some of us, it never occurs to us that our mom is literally the main person that we need to be staying away from. You know what I'm saying? Um, or or dad or auntie, uncle, whoever, right? Whoever raised you, right? People get mad at me when I post these videos like this because I'm exposing my family. But I mean, they full of shit. You can't get mad because I see through your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But yeah, y'all, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could relate to anything I said, please comment down below. Um, or you can send me a private DM. We can definitely talk. A lot of y'all DM me privately and we have conversations regarding family and um, things like that. If you need to open up, I am definitely here. We can do that. Um, if you don't feel like 
commenting or if you don't want to comment you don't have to but that is the reason why i post videos like this because i want the people that need to hear it to be able to be like okay i can relate to that i can understand she's went through it she's going through it she's making a video about it and maybe she could help me maybe she could talk to me that's why i do this for her so if you don't agree with my content i got a video the other, i got a i got a um comment the other day i was talking about my ancient ass daddy and my dumb ass sister they were like why are you putting your family on blast first of all these people are not my family these motherfuckers didn't raise me i've never met my sister a day in my life i've never met my sister a day in my life in my life only saw my daddy a couple times these people are not my family do not ever disrespect me like that number two I'm gonna talk about what I want on this platform. This is my shit. If you don't like it, you can definitely remove yourself. Whether you are a family member, whether you are a close friend, whether you are a um, supporter of mine, if you don't like anything that I post or anything that I talk about, that is fine. You can remove yourself. You don't even have to let me know that you are removing yourself. You can simply just unsubscribe and block little old me. Thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram my instagram is kyla latrice make sure you follow me on tiktok my tiktok is kyla latrice 98 and i will see y'all in the next video oh shop glow and flow beauty supply store yes ma'am all right i'll see y'all